Hello, and welcome to your HTML tutorial for beginners. HTML is level 1 of my web development series on my YouTube channel. Level 2 is going to be tutorials for CSS3. Level 3 is going to be JavaScript. And level 4 is going to be publishing, monetization, and adding the finishing touches to your website. To run HTML, you'll need a source code editor. I'm using and recommending Microsoft Visual Studio Code. It's free and there will be a download link in the description for you to use. And there's many videos on YouTube on how to set it up. Until part three of HTML, you will not need any software. So for those beginners, I recommend using a free web application called CodePen.io, which can be used to create one web page with automatic output. The link will be on the screen and in the description as well. Now, let's get into some background information about HTML. In 1999, HTML was born, as well as the World Wide Web by the same person. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and is not a programming language like Java or Python because it is used for structural purposes and not functional purposes. All right? HTML plus CSS plus JavaScript can make beautiful websites for you and many others to use. All right, so we have some background information on HTML. Now, let's get it open. So before we even put any files or folders for HTML, let's make sure we have a place to see it afterwards. So in Visual Studio, you're going to head over to Extensions, type in Live Server, and click on this one by Mr. Rit, 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 Day. All right, you're hit Install. It has 6 million, so you know this is the right one. And then it'll show up right here in the bottom corner. It'll say live server. I already have one open over here. So it says ports on me. Okay. So we have that open. Now here we are on the Visual Studio home screen. You're going to hit file, open folder. And then you don't have a folder. You're going to hit new, create a folder. I have one made. So we're going to do level one HTML and hit select folder. So in your level one HTML, I already have an HTML file here. So I could have this open here. But you're going to create new file and it'll already pop up in here you don't go back to the file explorer and you're going to call it i call mine index.html i already have one made so i'm not going to do that but you hit enter and then it's already made and it'll probably take you to the html like where you can type the code i'm very bad with definitions and names i'm sorry okay so to define the document that it is html you're going to do exclamation mark doc type html in your brackets all right after that you're going to do in your brackets html and then at the end, it'll be slash HTML. Anything that will end your anything in HTML will have a slash at the end of it, okay? So if you finish a paragraph, you'll do slash paragraph. If you finish a table, you'll do slash table, all right? After that, we're going to put we're gonna put the title of our tab. So we're going to do in the head, which is represents a collection of metadata for the document. I'm reading this right off of... Uh, Visual Studio. We'll do slash head there. Okay. And here we're going to put the title. This is what's going to show up here on our tab. So we can call this HTML tutorial. Okay. And as you can see on here, it'll show up as HTML tutorial. All right. After that, we're going to move into the body. This is where all the text, tables, forms, links, pictures, any information over here in this white space is going to show. That'll be in the body, all right? So let's say you want to type something. So if you type something, let's just say hi, all right? It'll show up right here on our web page. Now, maybe you want to type in, this is where a table goes, all right? It'll show up on here. So let's put in a comment. So for that, you're going to put your uh, less than sign, exclamation mark, hyphen, all right? As you can see, this is all going to be green or a different color depending on what you're using, and that's going to be a comment. So if I refresh, this is where a table goes, we'll be there. Now, maybe you want to type in here, um, it's a paragraph, okay? It won't show up on here. So to do that, we're going to have to end the comment. To end the comment, you're going to do two hyphens and then a greater than sign. And as you can see, it'll say paragraph, all right? So that's how you write comments. You can do as many lines of comments as you want. So I could just say, hi, 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 right? Now I can get spammy and take up a lot of room. So we're just going to delete that for now. And we're going to delete this hi, okay? 
Now let's move into headings. So headings is going to be kind of like the size of text. They all use the same font, all right? It just depends on the size. H1 is going to be the largest heading, while H6 will be the smallest heading, all right? And if we move that here, you can definitely see a difference with like H3 being medium size heading, okay? And it'll just get largest to smallest, all right? You can customize this with H, um, you can customize the CSS, wait, you can customize the HTML with CSS, but we're not going to get into CSS right now. That'll be for level two coming into the future of my channel. I am terribly bad at commentary. Holy snap, you didn't know. All right. So now we're going to put in paragraphs, all right? So for paragraphs, it'll be P in your brackets. So let's type in lorem tab, and it'll just give us a bunch of text for us. I'm going to save that, and it'll, see, it'll show up on my page, all right? So now, let's say we want the word lorem to be bold, all right? Start paragraph one to be bold. So you're going to do in your brackets, strong, and as you can see, it will pop up in here. We're going to actually get rid of that, and then we're going to do slash strong, all right? And if we refresh this, it will now be bold. Now, what if we want sit to be italic? All right, so we're going to move over here to find it, and we're going to do, in your brackets, em. We're going to remove that, and we're going to do slash em, and that will be italic, sideways, slanted, askew, all that other words that you might use. I don't know who's watching the video. It's 2020, okay? So that's cool. Now, what if we want this... Now, what if we want to have a line break? So... As you can see, this is in the same line. What if we want to have a line break after sit? So we're gonna go back to after this e, um, italic command, you're gonna put in slash br for break line. And if we refresh that, there'll be a whole new line, right? The same size as every other line in that paragraph. Now, if we start a new paragraph, new paragraph, it's going to be 1em, which is a CSS measurement, okay? There'll be a new line per paragraph. So if I start a whole another paragraph, another paragraph, there'll be another line there. Okay? Now let's go on to lists. Um, lists. Okay? So an unordered list will be in your brackets UL for unordered lists. Okay? For lists, you're going to do LI, and that'll be one like list part. So for an unordered list, let's call it good drinks, all right? Okay. And actually, as you can see, it has the same line with our paragraphs because we ended the paragraph here. So let's say we want a line there to separate it, like a separated section. We're going to do in here in our brackets, all right, HR. You're going to save that and there'll be a whole line here separating the section, all right? So in your live, we're going to say a good drink, so say Sprite, all right? Sprite could be a good drink in my opinion, and it is, all right? After that, we're going to do LI again, and we'll say Pepsi. Right here, as you can see, Pepsi will show up. And let's do one more, let's say Sweet Tea, all right? And there are some good drinks right there. Now let's do an ordered list. So let's call this Favorite Rides in the Magic Kingdom. In, at Disney World, all right? So for order list, it's going to be OL for order list, and we're going to just keep using LI for each line. So for, let's say, our first one will be Space Mountain. We'll save that. You can see it'll pop up here, and Space Mountain will be our number one. And I didn't mean to do that. And for our second one, let's say it's uh, Seven Dwarfs Mine, Mine Train. Save that. That will pop up as well, all right? And then for our last one, let's just use it's a small world as an example. And as you can see, it'll go in order infinite min, infinite times for an ordered list. So you could do count to a thousand. And you could just do, let me actually try that. We'll do count. That's still there. That's part of the list still. We'll do count to five. And we'll just do OL. Actually, will that work? Yeah, it will work. So you could do li, li. 
we'll just we'll just do three. That's a lot of work already. Okay. So that's the end of that ordered list. Okay. Now let's move into links and attributes. So in attribute, you're gonna do your greater than, I mean less than sign, your less than sign, and you're gonna do a href equals and then quotations you're going to do your links so let's say we want to do national let's just do nationaltoday.com so you're going to have to have your https all that stuff in here you're going to copy that you're going to paste it in here as you see there's an underline showing that it is in fact a link and then you're going to type in after that as you can see you put a greater than sign you'll have the slash a for end of the end of the attribute you're going to put in your text of what you want it to say on your web page all right so maybe we want it to say visit national today if i can get back there visit national today all right and if we scroll down it'll say visual visit national today all right let me remove this count to five thing to make it a little easier and i'll remove some of my paragraph as well if i can find it there it is all right Oop. save that there it is okay Make it a little bit easier for y'all to see it. All right. So as you can see, we have it there. Now, if we click on it, it'll go to nationaltoday.com. We don't want it to do that though. What if we wanted to show it to another tab to keep the people on your website? So to do that, um, before we go to visit National Today, you're gonna head back in here before you finish the bracket and type in target equals in quotations underscore blank. Save that. We click on it now. It'll show up into another tab. All right. Now let's go into tables, all right? So tables, all right? You're gonna do in your brackets tables, then you're gonna do table head, then you're gonna do table row, and then you're gonna do table, I think heading is what that means, all right? So let's say we want it to be contact information. Let's say contact information and I'll put a line break right there, okay? So let's say contact information, right? So for each one, so like list, we have li, this is gonna be th for your table, okay? So we'll say name and we'll do one more, we'll do email, okay? Save that and it'll be right there. So now we're gonna do slash tr actually that's already there and then table head okay now we're going to do table body which will have the information so we'll do um table row and then i don't know what tv means it just has stuff in the data cell and we'll say my name is going to be sammy biscuit okay and then for our email we're gonna do Sammy go go at alaw.com. I'm going to save that and then our information will be shown below the table. All right, that's going to end it here on our HTML tutorial part one. If you did enjoy this video, please sure drop a like, it's very appreciated. And go watch HTML tutorial part two for my web development series. And I'll see you there. Bye bye.